Hi, welcome to the Building a Sand Desk video. The show is starting. The show is starting. What's up, guys? Saul's here. Hope your day's going well. Happy holidays. So today we'll be building this standing desk right here. I previously built this standing desk with the Ikea La Captain tabletop. Ikea, that's very funny. But it didn't come out good. So I replaced that with this. I never uploaded that video because I didn't want you guys to build that table. I had a bad experience with it. But now I have a good new desk and I think it's actually worth building. So I'm gonna upload this video and I think you'll like it. And it's really high quality. It's a bit more expensive. Oh brother. But it's definitely worth it and it will hold up for a really long time. So let's get started with this build. Before we get started, I would like you guys to know you don't have to get these specific products that I show in this video. You have to do your own research as well in order to find what's best for you. There are different types of electric frames. There are three stage frames and there are two stage frames. There are also different types of tabletops. You can get a finished one or an unfinished one like I did. A finished one will definitely make the process a lot easier. Let's get back to the video. So the two main things you need for building a standard desk is the electric stand and frame and then the tabletop. When you get your standing desk, please consider how tall you are and how high you want the table to go and how low you want the table to go. I believe a three stage standing frame goes higher and lower, but it's more expensive. I'm 5'11 and a two stage standing desk was perfect for me. Also consider how much weight you will be putting on the desk. This one specifically that I have here, it's rated to take up to 225 pounds and I tried it. I actually did lay on it. Putting the standing desk frame together was really simple. There aren't that many pieces and it's straightforward. The manual is also really helpful. This is specific to the Top Sky brand one that I got. As I mentioned earlier, I did get the unfinished countertop. It's a tabletop slash countertop. It's basically a kitchen top that we're using as a desk. Since I did get the unfinished one, that means I'll have to treat the table, then stain it, and then protect it with polyurethane. If you decide to get a finished tabletop, you will skip the whole step where I treat the table and stain it. I got the unfinished one for customization purposes. So I sanded it down and I wiped it down with this tack cloth. I did both sides already. So the next step will be to do the conditioner. And uh, then I'll wait five to 15 minutes. And I'll use this applicator. So the first step was to sand down the table. I used 220 grit sandpaper. After sanding it, I wiped it down with the tack cloth. That's basically to remove all the wood shavings that you just took off. Then I did the pre-stain, which is the wood conditioner. It prepares the wood for the actual stain. After waiting five to 15 minutes, I wiped down the pre-stain and I did this for both sides. After that, we're ready for the staining process. And you'll see I do only one coat on mine because I think it was dark enough. The color I picked was this English chestnut. This stain gives off warm, cozy vibes. After applying the stain, I did wipe off the excess and I did this for both sides. The weather was pretty bad on this day. It started to rain literally right after the stain dried, so I had to take it down to the basement. So if you're doing this, check the weather first. And as I mentioned earlier, I did only one coat of stain because I didn't want it to go any darker than this. After the staining, it's ready for the polyurethane. You do one coat of polyurethane, lightly sand it down, then do a thicker coat of polyurethane and then one more, so three coats in total. The polyurethane comes out as this whitish blue color, but when it's done drying, it's clear. I forgot to record most parts of the polyurethane process, but there are other videos on YouTube that can show you exactly how to treat a table. One thing to be aware of is to be careful with drips on the sides. You wanna wipe off that excess. This was my first time doing this. I'm really happy with how it came out, and I definitely learned something new. So I just took the screws out the bottom right here. So I'm gonna stretch the table out to about right here, cause the table is pretty long, so. Let's stretch it out. I'm gonna put my monitor mount like right here. So I'm gonna leave a lot of space right here for that. And I'm gonna put tape at the bottom of these before I start to screw it in. So any wood shavings don't just fall on the desk. And this is how I cable managed with the table. So we're gonna see the whole process of how I put things together and uh, how it looks. This is definitely not the most clean setup, but I think it looks all right. So here we have it. Looks absolutely amazing. Uh, the only thing left right now is to install the plug extension. Uh, I can go ahead and test to see if this is working now. And yes, it does work. Nice.
And for my final thoughts, I really like the table. I think it came out really good. I do need to change a few things to my setup to match it a little bit more. This was definitely a learning process. I feel like I gained something new. And I think in the future, I will definitely be doing the same process if I have to build a standing desk again. Comment below if you have any questions of my process. I'll try my best to answer any questions within my knowledge. And if you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much for watching. Comment below, does this desk look good? If you're new here, check out my channel. See if you want to subscribe. If you do, subscribe. If you don't, that's fine. If you like the video, hit that like button. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.